Welcome, my interdimensional beings from another dimensional plane with a beautiful IQ of 10 billion. It's me, your friendly neighborhood, Ultraris Colaris Arachnaris, aka Ultra Spider Cole. I don't, I don't know. I probably should have gone that way, but who cares? Today we're going to be talking about a couple games that have been that are either announced, coming out, rumors. I guess I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're just we're we're gonna we're gonna talk about some games that I'm personally excited for. Uh, these are in no particular um, order. Uh, they're not gonna be like it's not gonna be a a, a a tier list. I might do a tier list on something else later on. That's that's a little that's a little. Might do something right there for you. Either way, let's start off with numero. Well, I can't. I can't say n number one when I said it's not a. Let's start with letter Z. Nickelodeon All Stars. Nickelodeon. Ooh, Nickelodeon All Stars. Uh, play your favorite Nickelodeon character and beat the crap out of anyone. Uh, you want to play a seven-year-old, a seventy-year-old dude uh, that lives in the jungle that just likes to beat up children go right ahead you like to play as an anthropomorphic sponge and beat the ever-living crap out of a out of a ghost boy you can do that uh but in all seriousness um i'm kind of excited for this i never really got into uh smash brothers uh too seriously so i'm kind of excited to see just the different just all the nickelodeon properties that i can just beat each other with personally if you got XJ9, I am buying three copies. Three copies. You heard it here. Three copies. I might give one out to you to, to someone. I might give one out to someone. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. Hey, we'll see. You know what? I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, put my microphone in this. Oh, no, oh, that's not allowed. Okay, I'm putting it back on this one. Just mess with your head right there. Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite. Personally, I am not an extreme Halo fan. Uh, a lot of people will um, get the pitchforks, uh, get the noose, and mob outside my house and come for my throat when I say I am not the greatest Halo fan. Uh, most of the Halo hype, I still don't understand, but seeing the new trailer for Halo, the multiplayer and part of the store, like how it's going to play out, I'm, I'm all for it. The main reason I really want it is just because uh, I saw the multiplayer and their samurai Spartan armor. Look at this! Just, just look at the samurai! Look at this! How do you not want to buy this? Look at this! I want it! I want 40 of them! Either way, I have played a, a, not a lot of Halo, not a whole bunch, uh, but I do enjoy the series. I'm not saying I hate the series, I'm not coming after the series. So please put your plasma swords away and stop coming for me. And uh, uh, okay, I was scared for a second. Thought the elites were showing up after I talked crap about Halo. Back for blood. Let's go into back for ah blood. Back for blood. I I don't know if you guys know, but I've spent countless, countless hours playing. Uh, Left 4 Dead. I play just. I always manage to come back to Left 4 Dead. Something about the beauty, the 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 magic that they they did. Something about Left 4 Dead. Just right here. This 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 box. Ooh, ooh. Left 4 Dead always makes me go back to it. And if we can, if they manage to encapsulate everything about Left 4 Dead from the fat boomer to the hillbilly spitter aspects of this game and find a way to modernize it, that would be great. The only thing that concerns me is the card system, which seems a little pay to win. It just seems like something that they could implement a pay to win mechanic. I, st I don't know how I feel about that. I'm still very terrified. Uh, but either way, it's one of the games that I'm very excited for. Probably, I'm gonna most likely play a whole bunch of it when uh, I, me and my friends get it. So I can't wait for that. Uh, number, number L on the list. Uh, God of War, Ragnarok. 
I don't, I really don't think I have to say anything. The first God of War was great. I played God of War my whole life. Since I was a fetus, I've been playing God of War. That's not entirely true, but that's a statement. Uh, put that on a shirt. But yeah, there's no more I can say about God of War. I want to play it. Uh, Battlefield 2042. Um, I'm just, I just want a, a multiplayer game. I just want a good multiplayer game. Call of Duty, uh, it's pushed this course. You know, I love it, but it's just the, the same thing. It's the same thing. Make first person shooters great again. Please, we need them. Uh, and talking about more first person shooters, we're gonna be getting into a boundary. Ah, boundaries. You remember Call of Duty Inf Infinite? Was it, inf was it? Bobby, was it Infinite? Which one was the one in space? Imagine that, but instead of just crap, uh, you're an astronaut in space and you're fighting against other astronauts in space. It's pretty much like the one scene in 007 when everyone's getting for a nuclear bomb and it falls in the ocean and for some random reason, two armies of scuba people are just fighting for this nuclear bomb. I don't, like, I watched the movie twice, I don't know what happened. Imagine that, but in space. That's what this game is. High mobility, muffled sounds, because guns don't make noises in space. It, it's, it looks amazing, it looks great. A lot of different mechanics. They're looking to push into that competitive scene, which, you know, I like competitive games. I'm a competitive gamer. By nature, I played CSGO and Call of Duty. Uh, just competitive gaming boy. Either way, uh, they they have a lot of promise in uh, in their game. Uh, I'm excited for it. I don't want to get my hopes up, but it looks like they really want to push onto the fan base. I hope they listen to the fans, unlike other games, other just other games that don't do that. They don't listen to their fan base and just wait an entire year to actually change things and don't listen. Either way. Uh, I'm excited for that, and I think uh, the bat symbol, ba that, that's that's uh, the number. Number bat symbol is Dying Light. Dying Light 2 is by far one of my most uh, anticipated games. I, I don't know why, I just, I played the first one for probably 400 hours if I could even count, because I played so many hours on the PlayStation. Hell, one of my best videos that is still getting traction, everyone watches like two minutes of it a day, is my can't stop me now dying light video it's still one of those things everyone is watching i don't i don't know why uh but i'm glad still people are watching i i want to rework it i want to i'm most likely in the future gonna remake that like do a remake of that trailer because i didn't like the ending of it but hey you should go watch that anyway because it's good editing in its finest detail bit by bit by bit just uh, Either way, um, those are my anticipated games. Uh, I probably forgot a couple because there were a lot of trailers, a lot of games, and a lot of suppressed memories from this year so far. We're halfway into the year and I'm already suppressing memories like if it was my childhood. Woo! If this video does good, if you guys want to see more content uh, like this, uh, just let me know. Um, I'm just trying different things now, doing no more things, streaming on YouTube constantly. Uh, I have some stuff in the works. It's just uh, work, life balance, and YouTube balance is still just, it's just something hard. Okay. Uh, let me know the games that you guys are excited for down in the comments. Tell me that my uh, anticipated games suck or, or if you're also excited for those games. And uh, I'll catch you next time on my channel. Um... Oh! <laughs>